You know, I'd been pretty consistent on saying last time on Odyssey, but I just discovered that in episode 23, I accidentally said previously on Odyssey. Man, I am such a screw-up. Dang it! <clears throat> in the most recent episode of Odyssey... There were more spaceship battles. Pew, 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 pew! And, uh, and, and yeah, and it takes out the, the shuttle. You can see, like, a wing fly off, and then it, like, you know, kind of does a, a loop-de-loo towards the ground and, and crashes in. The gang is all back together in the space shuttle Challenger. They even found Thorn in the cryo chamber that had been put on board. You, um, press a couple of buttons on there, and, um, then the red blinking light goes to green, and, um, the... The seal breaks and uh, a bunch of sort of um, steam sort of lets itself out. James accidentally locked himself in said cryo chamber after he and Starlet both vomited in it. Oh, uh, now I can. Oh, now, now I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and she does too. And the, the rainbow puke goes into this uh, slurry inside the um the pot. Allison shot a bunch of stuff. The sky just like lights up as this thing shoots across and it leaves a like a sort of vapor trail behind where it went. Charlie did a lot of barrel rolls. Yeah, I did a barrel roll. Slippy told me to. Okay, cool. Or Slippy, I'm sorry, it's Slippy. My bad. Slippy. That was Peppy. God damn it, you are right, it is Peppy. Fuck. <laughs> Silly goose. And eventually the team managed to destroy Epcot, thereby disabling the United Space of America's gravitational field that was preventing ships from leaving its atmosphere. You see, like, it all just... Almost like if you were inside a supernova, it happens. And, like, so, like... It's a champagne re- supernova <laughs> in the sky. It's a champagne supernova (laughs) in the sky. (laughs) And because Chris has been weirdly horny for combat lately, they encountered more jets flying in. But it also appears as though, like, some of those stars are actually um, inbound ships coming in to intercept this thing. Buckle up, LC Peeners, because we only got two more episodes after this before the arc comes to a conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aldrin! You guys are heading back to um, the the Miss Jackson, which is currently um, basically moored above the research facility, and um, and yeah, like you had just gotten released from your tube, and that attack happened, and um, that thing before leaving the shuttle uh, while it was plummeting had shot Jeeves, and then just stepped right out. Oh my God! They killed Jeeves! You bastards! And then Tim, you know, or Charlotte, got up to the front of the the shuttle and saved everybody. All right. And so, um, yeah, your shuttle is uh, rocketing towards, well, technically not rocketing since it uses warp engines now. It is uh, bending space towards the, uh, towards the Miss Jackson, which you, it never got out of your horizon because on this uh, side of the spacefaring continent, it's uh, actually convex, and so uh, or concave, and so there is no horizon on this side. You can see all the way clear to the other side. Um, it just like blurs into one big kind of city, and as you go away from things, they just get smaller. And uh, in this case, when you're coming back up towards the uh, Miss Jackson, it just keeps getting bigger, and um, you're still dodging laser fire coming from behind as you're nearing close to to this area you start to see you know going over all the different cityscapes below um different skirmishes on the ground and um basically charlotte is the best one to notice any of this stuff being the pilot can actually see out of the windows 
and uh, there's like all the different tube systems uh, are having these battles pretty much right by the exits of the tubes as like reinforcements are coming in from one tube or another and you're just seeing uh, straight up chaos as um, Reagans from all over the the continent are getting you know tubed in to fight against the Sagans and prevent their escape you see uh, different sorts of small arms fire going on in, in different places and then uh, occasionally some like big explosions you can tell that uh, at the research facility there are a lot of explosions going on around that place and there are missiles that are impacting like the shields around the Miss Jackson as well as the the tube that's loading from the roof and uh, F-16s like scrambling all around and as you approach some of them start to head your way so are the F-16s also going after the Miss Jackson? Yeah, they're mainly or fighting the Miss Jackson. They're just starting to break okay. away, um, some of them, when they uh, see your ship approaching. It's now! Okay, got it. Right. Um, so if I remember I'm correctly... I'm sorry, Kim, I can't let that go. What the fuck was that, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> what was What? <laughs> Is now exactly. Well, it's right. Is now. Uh, what that's was that? That's, that. What, that's what they say on Eight Bytes Gaming. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> He's making references for that one fan who listens to this podcast <laughs> and watches Eight Bytes Gaming. It's fine. He'll include it, and it'll be stupid, and nobody will like it except for that one person, and it's fine. All right. That one person is Brian. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to laugh so hard when he gets to this point. Like, oh, man, remember the time that I said is now? (laughs) That was great. (laughs) I'm still stuck way back on trying to figure out the difference between convex, converse, and concave and camber. Okay, okay, well, some of those are not related in any way, shape, or form, so... <laughs> I should preface tonight with saying I already had a hot chocolate rum, and now I'm having a beer, and I'm already... Brian, you are literally Chris Farley in the fucking elevator with celebrities going, remember that one time that you did? That was awesome. <laughs> <sighs> well, I can understand that we're in a fight still, so I can shoot stuff. Right. Okay, so do I still have the controls? <laughs> yeah. Do we still have the cannon on top of the ship? Or yeah, is that you got not the functioning because rail... the ship is dead? No, the, the ship got turned back on. It just, uh, Charlotte had to run up to the front and uh, just in time turn the keys and, and get it moving again. And, gotcha. um, yep, and you still got the rem- remote control for the railgun. Um, the cannons that are forward facing um, they have to be operated within the cockpit yeah other than that uh, Starlet is sort of um, trying to nurse Thorn back to health in the meantime right I would like to as I remember last time I was standing like trying to help turn engines or something back on I would like to get to a seat and strap in and uh, start using the thing dinger to control the railgun. All right, roll for thing dinger. <laughs> Until the Gladly. sun comes up, I'll be rolling for a handful of thing dinger. <sighs> Five. All right, you you successfully um, put your seatbelt on without having to tie it this time, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you are completely ready to operate this thing dinger uh roll a notice check for me um okay. i guess all of you did i know that jeeves de- died did i witness that um you didn't exactly witness it because you were like in that sort of falling situation with getting in tim's way or Char- uh, charlotte's way and stuff but you would have known that there was a gunshot in the the cabin and uh y- you probably have been able to put two and two together <clears throat> That's saying a lot. This is James. I'm also feeling seasick and already vomited, so... Maybe give him a vigor? (laughs) Do a vigor roll to see if you can actually, you know, put two and two together through your (laughs) vomit-strewn body. (laughs) 
<laughs> Roll for vinegar strokes. <laughs> That's a three. Okay, uh, you're still feeling a bit queasy, man. You're not falling on the floor, but um, yeah, you're you're having to brace yourself on the the walls here. Okay, I'll just try to scramble for any kind of gun up front that will help relieve. The... If I can get situated, maybe I'll feel better. Okay, so um, as you like uh, do that, you like come sort of uh, barreling into the to the cockpit here, and are having to sort of brace yourselves on the chair and everything as you walk in. And um, yeah, you you step on this um, this metal circular disc thing, um, and your foot kind of slides out uh, from under you as you do it. And uh, this thing has a hole in it and is smoking. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, jump into the seat and say, Yo, Charlie, I think they shot your Walkman. What are you talking about, James? Remember back on Earth, we had these, like, CD players and shit? You could... Oh, wait, no, that's not 80s. <laughs> 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 that was this thing I was thinking Well, actually, about, a Walkman would have been the... Ta- the Walkman would have been the tape player. The Discman is the CD thing. So you were technically right. You just said the wrong thing. I was thinking that maybe one day they could take walk disc Walkman... <laughs> God damn it. He's now! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it worked that time. It worked that time. <laughs> I just want to shoot the guns. I don't, I don't want to roleplay anymore. Uh, fire all the guns at once and... Why, but I, I'm enjoying you roleplaying so much. <laughs> Explode into space. <laughs> what, do, what can I shoot? In front of you, there are... Uh, two F-16s that are heading um, your way, Um, and then you also do notice that like, directly behind these F-16s is the Miss Jackson, so um, aim carefully, or you might miss and uh, hit your friends. Wait, are our... No. You're just talking about the people... Not actual friends, right? Just citizens of the... We've got our mates with us. Yeah, but you also have friends aboard the Miss Jackson, don't you? Oi, you're not mating with me, love. You you wouldn't want to hurt Randy Pound and uh, <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, your beloved NPCs. Okay, yeah. All right. Do I see? Do I see James about to get on a gun? Yes. Um, do I have a control to turn it off? <laughs> I, I want to take. I want to take the batteries out of James's controller. <laughs> okay. Um, roll electronics. <laughs> deal uh five all right yeah you successfully do that uh james is gonna go <clears throat> he's gonna aim very carefully and then say it's now and pull the trigger and nothing happens <laughs> he'll keep clicking it clicking it Yo, what the fuck when you uh when you do that it makes the sound of uh the millennium falcon whenever the hyperdrive doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> hey watch this whoa, whoa, whoa. hey yo charlie i think they I think they took out our forward guns. Oh, don't don't worry, James. I'm working on it right now. We have some sort of an overload of the circuits. I'm I'm I'm, I'm working on it right now. Just 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 let me let me focus on flying. Oh my god! Oh my god! And she's just casually flying right now. <laughs> when he says when she when Charlie says circuits, I'm gonna um, think of the way that cars are wired in, in the movies, and I'm gonna like start digging underneath the guns and looking for any kind of panels. Stuff. See if I can do something. All right. Well, you roll <laughs> electronics then. <laughs> That's gonna be a, a one. Oh, my highest <laughs> one. That that checks out with every time that you've touched anything with a wire on it. So, <laughs> so um, okay. Here's how we'll do this. Um, you uh, pick green or blue. Green. All right, so uh, yeah, you you pull a green wire like all the way completely out, and um, you know you see the the frayed end kind of like sparking and everything, and uh, the ship like tilts sideways and is just flying sideways right now, still in the same direction, just sideways. Yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> I don't think you do, moron. <laughs> Were you belted in, James? Uh, no, I'm down underneath the the. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, uh, roll athletics. <laughs> and then I, I will roll for uh, Thorn and Starlet. Fiverr. 
All right. Yeah. Uh, you you feel the the instant pull to the side, and you like kind of brace yourself and hold onto the control panel there. And um, yeah, uh, Thorn was belted in, and so uh, he stands still um, or stays steady. And uh, yeah, Starlet passes with uh, flying colors and is like standing up, but is still like connected to the ground because uh, she can do that now. Yo, this shit shoots yellow lasers, right? And blue or green makes yellow. James, I have a really important job for you. Whatever you just did, unfuck it, and then I need somebody to be the <laughs> joint roller. It's really important. It's an important job. No, I know how you are on drugs, homie. You're right, that's super important. Right, see? So reconnect the shit that you just broke. I mean, fixed. <laughs> um, I'm going <laughs> to attempt to just... Take the frayed ends and twist them together. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, for this one, <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, a 10 is definitely gonna, uh, does that make a raise on you? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you take some damage, buddy. Nine um, damage. So, uh, what's your toughness? It's <laughs> pretty Okay, so you, um, yeah, you definitely. Um, it's it's just startled or not startled. I always fuck that Shaken. up. What is it called? Shaken. Not stirred. Yep. But but it does close the circuit, and so the the <laughs> ship writes itself. <laughs> and when it does that, uh, that metal puck thing comes sliding across the floor and uh, ends up like right around uh, where your knees are. Uh, uh, yo, Charlie. Here's your Walkman. <laughs> Pick it up and look at it. That's Jeezy, you moron. Yo, what the, f- what the fuck happened to him? Uh, asshole fucking fed guy shot him. Jeezy's? I didn't press buttons on the puck. Uh, some sparks fly out and more smoke, the smoke um, out of the, the bullet hole. You gotta be fucking kidding. James, I can fix it later, but I'm really not sober right now. She's gonna, like, dip the vehicle up and down a little bit to, like, make it seem like she's having trouble piloting it. <laughs> I will summon up a new determination and uh, spend a penny for my shaking and then make my way towards wherever his, her papers are. All right. Everything's in MO5, just an FYI. All right, that's where I'm headed. All right, and as you start to move that direction, um, I already rolled some uh, cards for you guys, and uh, the the challenger actually got a joker, so um, you're going to get two actions in this uh, this turn. I am going to wait until uh, after the F-16s are about to go or something like that. I, just, I definitely want to hold my action for now, and I'll go when it seems appropriate. All right, you're going to hold your piloting action. Well, because it's a joker, so I can go whenever, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, and and you got uh, two, so, um, yeah, because we're doing the, the thing where it's like uh, war with the cards instead of the rounds and stuff like we did before. Perfect, I'm into it. Yeah, and um, one of the jets got a face card and the other one did not. And so the face card is going to go first. This missile is coming your way. So um, go ahead and um, roll for piloting. To um, see if you can outmaneuver this thing. Ooh. Eight. All right. So, yeah, you got a raise on that one. So Yeah, so it, it barely even rocks the ship. You... you um, jerk the the yoke to the to the left and and the whole ship kind of pulls that way and um the thing kind of explodes uh several hundred yards off to off to the side and so uh just feels like mild turbulence the other one is going to make a shot as well and you can go ahead and roll piloting again all right holy shit well i just popcorned on the d10 so that is a 12 Holy shit! Okay, yeah. So that that's uh, much better. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll say that one misses completely, and uh, you just get like a missile that just goes straight past you guys, 
and detonates somewhere behind you and uh you just see it on your radar you don't even um you know feel it and uh you are gaining on them um pretty quickly also since they are coming directly you know forward at you at a 12 o'clock position in the same go around you get basically two turns of action so uh all right so uh the first thing that i would like to do is um try and line up a shot with the one that got close to me and go ahead and try and hit him with the old forward cannons yeah go ahead and uh make a shooting roll that And this is all while James is trying to go find MO5, right? 100%. All right. Uh, so that's a five. I don't know. Yeah, that hits him. No shit. So, uh, yeah, roll, roll damage for your front cannons are um, uh, 40, 10 okay. times two because you got two cannons. So uh, roll 40, 10 twice. Or roll eight. Well, technically, you should be rolling, uh, shooting um, twice, too, since it's two different uh, cannons. Um, so it's 18 on the first one. All right. Shit. Three. Holy fuck. It's 33 for the second one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, you you take out uh, one of these. Um, one of these. Ones. All right. Yeah. And then uh, now we're going to go to uh, Allison, who's um, got your railgun at the ready. I do indeed. I'm going to Benny that. That was not a good choice. That's. Yeah, I'm Benny again because that would be a double one. Oof. Okay, so that's. that. Yeah, that's not going to help. That's a three. <clears throat> oh, wait. No, I don't have shooting. That's a one, because I'm minus two. I forgot. <laughs> okay. So, um, roll damage for me. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I turned off the wrong I cannons. I like that. You did. <laughs> you did turn off the wrong cannon. <laughs> Turns out I'm the one you can't trust. Um, 24, 25, 26, 28. Okay. Yeah, uh, this... You see the sort of vapor trail that, that happens in the air when this railgun shoots. You just see that line go straight past uh, one of the F-16s heading your way, and it goes and detonates on the side um, of the uh, shielding surrounding the uh, the Miss Jackson and blows a huge hole in the shields. And um, immediately you see uh, some of the, the Reagans firing rockets and like small arms and stuff start to try to hone in towards that hole in the in the thing, and they're they're shooting through that into the the Miss Jackson's hull there. Oops! Did I do that? <laughs> uh, James, you're walking up to Mo5, um, who has uh, magnetic feet, so he's been able to um, stay attached to the, the to the floor this whole time, even with the banking maneuvers and all that kind of stuff. He's gonna knock on his stomach and then go. <clears throat> Come on, man! Smokes, let's go. What's the magic word? Uh, hold on. I think I remember this. Uh... Just give me the shit. Ah ah ah! You didn't say the magic word. Ah ah ah! Ah ah ah! Oh, that's usually how Charlie talks to me. I don't know. Uh, listen, M O five. Uh, I just lost my best friend, and I need Charlie to get this shit so that she can get us out of here, so that she can repair him and bring him back to life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't really have time to think about magic words and shit. Abracadabra? You hear, like, a ka and then the door, uh, the door on his chest slightly opens. <laughs> Damn, I should have led with that. All right. <clears throat> uh, James is going to look for anything that looks weedy and then just basically stick it in a paper and roll it up and lick it like he sees in the movies. I assume that. All right, and then so, twist the ends, I guess. So, uh, roll a research check for me. Let's see what you can <laughs> find in here. <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay, and uh, you said you were looking for something weedy. Um, you, <laughs> you, you find a box of weedies in there. <laughs> 
I'll crumple them up and sprinkle them into this paper. Oh god. <laughs> okay. I probably won't do very well trying to get it to stick, and so because I'll probably have put too much in there, and so I'll probably just be licking this paper and licking it and licking it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you do that and uh, get back up to the to the cockpit, and you hand this sopping wet, like <laughs> chunky joint that looks like it's filled with dog food <laughs> over to Charlie. I throw it right back at him and say, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's perfectly good. Look, homie, I'll be your cup berry, you know what I mean? I learned about these in Sunday school once with that fucking kid that Clyde that used to take me and they used to have these guys that would test it for poison and shit. That's what I'm about to do for you. Look at this. Charlie is going to look for her notebook. She's going to flip it to a page. It's going to say, shut the fuck up, James, and she's going to hold it up. <laughs> and then she'll say, MO5, my love, could you please come up here? Will do. <laughs> I'm not a total screw-up, Charlie. I can do this shit. Give me a lighter. There's a very specific reaction that I'm looking for, James, and if I don't get it, I'm going to be very upset with you. All right, I'll give you this reaction. I don't know what that means. Oh, Okay. No, light it up. Let's do it. I'm going to light my joint. <laughs> All right. So, um... Do I smell it immediately and know, like, nope, this is not going to happen? <laughs> it smells like Absolutely. breakfast. Absolutely. Uh, Champions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll a... You eat wheat thins roll for a vigor. breakfast? Wheaties. Yeah, roll a vigor check, um, James. I've actually never had Wheaties in my life. Three. Well, obviously, it's for champions. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it, it smells and tastes like you're trying to smoke one of the pellets out of a wood pellet stove. <laughs> 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 and it does not go down smooth at all. Um, you, you end up in a hacking fit. Charlie <laughs> It smells like sawdust, you fucking moron. <laughs> oh damn it, I should have had you roll for hacking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and as you as you're coughing up along there, uh you hear um MO 5s magnetic feet like clunking on the ground towards the, the cockpit here as he walks in. What do you need? I am going to immediately uh, put my knee on the yoke and fucking turn around and start digging through MO5's compartment. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So uh, I'll use this as your, like, uh, second action in that round. And uh, roll a piloting for me. Perfect. (laughs) Huh? Well, a nine or a five, so either way. (laughs) So, um, yeah, as you're doing this, like... uh, (laughs) You're, you're literally, like, dodging out of the way of, like, weapon fire uh, <laughs> getting shot at the thing <laughs> while you're looking through for these drugs. And uh, which ones are you taking out? I'm going for a little bit of weed, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna turn it into some chronic by dusting some coke on top. All right. Yeah, uh, you find both of those things. You light it up, and for the... The thing that happens the instant that she takes her first puff is much like Popeye when he eats spinach, you'll see like her lungs and fucking torso grow a little bit and kind of like gyrate up and down and then stop and then uh, she'll like go into focus mode like, yeah, let's fucking do this. As I watch her do this, I'm going to take another drag with wide eyes like Matthew McConaughey. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and so uh, for this, uh, I'll have like all of your agility um, checks and stuff like that will be at a plus two, and then all of your smarts checks will be at a minus two. Perfect. Per, probably till the end of the session. I'm into it. All right. Then, Allison, you get another go? Oh, boy. Uh, and so, uh, just to set the scene here, um, there's still that one F-16 heading towards you. You now start to notice that as you're getting closer to the Miss Jackson, um, there is like... So, remember... I don't remember if it was last episode or the one before that, uh, when you were on the uh, end of the rooftop battle, um, geese started to like pile on top of each other to try to form like uh-huh. a geese megazord. 
Well, there's one of those that's climbing up the access tube to the Miss Jackson right now and is trying to make its way towards that hole in the protection field around it. Delightful. I assume I can't hit that without hitting the rest of the thing. So, um, regardless, I rolled a three to hit one of the other planes that's flying around. So, um, yeah, that actually does hit. That's banana. Okay! 40... What? Yeah, this thing disintegrates. That's better! And it's not one of those uh, G.I. Joe uh, F-16 disintegrations where you see the explosion, but then you see, like, the parachute. Like, (laughs) no parachute in this. (laughs) It's just straight-up fireball. Yep. I like it. And then, uh, James... Um, I'm gonna try and find a different gun. Are you're just looking for like a like a regular kind of gun, like a rifle or whatever. The forward cannons weren't working, so aren't there any others on the ship that I could jump to? Well they they were working once you uh left the cockpit area. Yeah, I turned them back on. So I mean like technically they're working right now. Would James know that? Hopefully fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> uh roll for notice to see if you noticed when he shot them. <laughs> uh, Benny. I have such high notice, I can't let that go. Wait, that's a... Oh, that's a pop-up. I mean, I really noticed. 15. Yeah, you definitely noticed that he was shooting it while you were out of the room. She. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on those cannons. Alright. What can I shoot? And so... Jet? Uh... Yeah, you notice that there's plenty of jets that are uh, swarming around attacking the Miss Jackson. Um, And then you notice this huge goose megazord that is trying to climb up the the tube that goes up there and um, is trying to get inside the the shield hole that was made by Allison's missed shot. Lowest jets, highest goose. Yes, it is. I'm shooting the goose sword. Ten. All right, yeah, that's going to hit. Five. All right, um, that does not hit, um, but do uh, 40 10 for the, the one shot that does. Twenty-five. All right. So, uh, yeah, this thing gets hit, and um, you see, like, a big fireball. Like, one of his arms comes off, and it's, like, just sort of, like, hanging there by one arm. And then uh, and you see its feet, like, start to scramble to try to, um, to, to get a hold again. You see it, like, kind of reorients its legs, and, like, geese are kind of, like, moving around on the exterior of it to try to reshape itself to climb up this thing better and the the bottom leg part starts to take the shape of like monkey feet and uh it it continues to start to pull itself around but it is now missing an arm so um with this next round you got another couple of planes that um scramble towards your position um and they both are gonna go before you too first one is a hit Oh yeah, roll um, your piloting. See how um, close this is gonna get. Alrighty. Uh, Benny. Uh, nine. Oh okay. Ooh, Lord, that's a lot of sixes this time. Yeah, you guys have uh, taken a wound on the Challenger. Are you gonna soak it? Yeah, I will. I'll go ahead and roll the piloting to see if I can soak it. All right. Uh, all right, well, I just rolled a Benny on both, so, or not a Benny, a, a popcorn on both, so that's 11. Okay, yeah, you definitely uh, soak that up. I thought I was going to get my first wound on the Challenger, damn it. <laughs> uh, the second plane will take its shot. One of these days you're going to overcalculate and then just kill us outright. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yep. So, uh, yeah, roll another uh, piloting check to, to see if you diminish this at all. Alright. They're, they're using their missiles. 
I will go ahead and spend another Benny, because that's terrible. Uh, 17, Chris. 17. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Um, so that, that one just screams past you again. Um, but I am wearing down your bennies, and so, uh, haha. <laughs> I only have one more, so there's that. Yep. And uh, now it is your turn, uh, the challenger's turn. So each uh, one of you will get a quick turn here. Well, I guess I'm not functioning the guns anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and go into a uh, controlled spin to try and help with my dodging chances. All right. That will definitely work. Do you want me to roll or nah? Nah, we'll, we'll worry about that whenever you get shot at again, and um, it'll just um, boost your, your chances. It'll give you a plus two. Sounds like a plan. And then, uh, James, you going to take any shots? Yep. Ten and then seven. Yeah, both of those hit. Eighteen and nineteen. Uh, eight, eighteen and nineteen. Yeah, with both of those hitting, you um, first the first one hits the other arm that was uh, grabbing on, and so like it um, kind of loses the grip from that, and uh, when the arm comes off, and then it just like folds backwards, and it's still being held up by the. The, um, the two feet that are like monkey legs right now, um, but then the other hit takes out one of those legs, so it's literally just digging there by one weird, short, curved monkey foot, and then there's this like odd, oddly shaped body that is uh, an amalgamation of a bunch of mechanical geese that at one point was itself the shape of a mechanical goose, but has uh, changed shapes multiple times in, in its little few minutes here. And um, it is a very weird looking structure. <laughs> All right, and uh, Allison. There's uh, two jets and then the remnant of that uh, goose megazord creature. Well, he seems to be doing a pretty decent job of taking out the megazord, so I think I'll go for another jet. Okay. Oh, about damn time I started rolling recently. Yes. 13. All right, yeah, that, that that hits with a raise, so. I don't know what the raise means, but here's your damage. Okay. Add another die for your damage. Oh, no, that's nine. Okay, never mind. Two sixes and two nines. I'm very confused right now. Okay, 18, <laughs> 36, plus one more. 36 plus eight is 44. It's enough that this this thing is, like, completely blasted out of the sky again. Like, when you hit, you hit hard with this thing. It's also, like, one of those things when, when something burns so hot, like, it actually doesn't produce smoke. And, and it's like that. <laughs> you see the fireball, but there's no black smoke left over. It, it, like, completely incinerated everything. Dope. Okay, this is a really cool gun. Yeah, can I try it, Starlet? says over to you after she's like kind of helping uh thorn oh i'm gonna tell you a secret about guns allison what they're all really cool well not normally but i like this one you didn't spend very much time in florida did you i mean i moved there eventually but no not that, really. that see that makes a lot of sense first of all that's the reason why I hate James so much, because he's from Florida, and obviously Floridians' natural enemies are other Floridians, and so... I picked yeah, that Yeah, no, up. this all makes a lot of sense. I hand... I'm from New York. Oh, well, you still suck, like, a lot. The um, second enemy and, of and a Floridian go, is a New Yorker. I mean, if you um, couldn't tell okay, from so... my accent, I came oh, from... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I hand the thing to... Hey, everybody, to interrupt Kim. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You guys just fuck off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you hand the, the controller over to Starlet. And, um, <laughs> so this is awesome. Because right now the ship is, like, currently, like, just spiraling from Tim's maneuver. 
and uh, a bunch of planes had just um, blown up in front of you and you hand over this railgun over to Starlet and she just starts like moving the joystick all around and hitting the button and so like uh, as you guys are spiraling through the air just random railgun shots are going off in all directions <laughs> like just impacting the crowd going off in the deep space and um, occasionally, like, you know, hitting other buildings and things on the ground and everything. It is fucking wild. And now that you guys are getting close enough to the, um, to the research facility, uh, you're starting to get attacked by uh, volleys of laser fire from the ground. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll your piloting uh, at a plus two, Tim. Alrighty. Uh, five. Okay. Oh, seven with a plus two. Seven with a plus two. All right. So, uh, yep, that's going to reduce it to where it is not enough damage to do you guys really any damage. You get some random pot shots hitting the hole and stuff like that, but nothing's um, super, you know, strong in that or anything. Uh, some more planes are uh, scrambling towards your position as well. You've got about half of them that you've taken out from this um, batch that were swirling around the, the Miss Jackson there. Oh yeah, that beat your toughness this time uh, by five. Do you still have a penny left to soak? I do. Or I have one. Taking some damage. Okay. Uh, but ah, fuck. What do you guys think? I can't use my Benny to soak, right? I have one. No, left. you cannot. I am the only person because I have the edge. What happens if you damage the ship? It, bad things. I'm going to do it. Uh, that's a seven. How much damage did I take? It was five over your toughness of 25. So one raise. So technically, I am just shaken with the ship. Though. Okay. All right. And with that, the next missile is coming at full strength. From the other one. 728. So, yep, you're getting hit with that one too. All right. Well, there's nothing I can do this time, so. Yep. So, uh, yeah, this time, um, roll a d12. We'll see what right. effect we land on. Uh, five. So uh, the maneuvering systems have been hit. Uh, piloting rolls are made at a minus two until the critical hit um, area has been repaired. Further hits mean the vessel can no longer maneuver and um, will drift or continue going the same direction. So uh, yeah, your maneuvering system is malfunctioning. God fucking damn it. We don't have Jeeves either. Fuck. Can I help? Can you pilot? Sure. Can you wrap some smokes? What? If you can pilot, well then I can fix the fucking damage. But if you can't pilot, then we're super fucked. Because GZ was the only other one that could effectively fucking pilot us while I repair this fucking bullshit. Yo, I could fly this shit. Oh. No, you can't, you fucking moron. You are definitely not flying shit. <laughs> I, I've never tried before, but I bet I could figure it out. I feel like that's a terrible fucking answer, Allison. So... How about the whole repairing thing? Could you repair? I mean... I'll try. I'm good at this video game. Look! And Starlight just starts firing the railgun. <laughs> she brings up a fucking good point. Listen, if anybody's going to be good at video games, it's me. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to message the F-16s and ask if we can have a timeout. <laughs> So does anybody keep, does anybody fucking fly this fucking ship? MO flies, MO5 is a robot like Jeeves was, because I always knew that Jeeves was a robot. MO5, can you fix the damage? That is the first brilliant idea James has ever had. I am well versed in fixing many things. I will try. My love, thank you. You are the best. And she'll kind of like put her knee back up onto the yoke and reach back and like tickle under his chin. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, giggles when you do that and then like he uh, reaches into his compartment and then pulls out a wrench and then you see his face go like Mario um, where he's got a mustache and then like a little hat and uh, the hat has an M on it for M05 
<laughs> and like when he uh when he bends down to to go under the control panels and stuff like um the way his metal backside is it kind of like dips down a little bit and there's like a bit of robot ass crack there <laughs> Well, don't like that. I'm Robert De Niro nodding right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and now it is the, the turn of the ship anyway. So, um, yeah, I will roll for MO5 to see how he does. Is there any way to do, like, a help action? Why don't you uh, roll um, your repair? Because he Will they be added together or something? It. Uh, sure. That's how I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Good, because... Uh, oh, well, okay, that's a... Okay, that's a four. Not the worst. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, how do I describe this? Because he rolled a one, so he would have definitely failed had you not helped him. Um, okay. Oh, oh, ML5! Wait, 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 wait. No, you got a other wrench. That one's too big. <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> and he goes and puts the big pipe wrench away and then, like, reaches back into his thing. <laughs> and he pulls out a tiny little screwdriver <laughs> that's, like, one of those ones for watches. And he goes and puts that in there. And then, like, a, a couple of turns later, wait, 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 like... Wait, 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 Yes? Okay. Well, it looks like it's working. <laughs> Never mind. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Um... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, with a, a little bit of finesse in there, you, you feel the ship start to, like, you know, gain control again. James. What you doing? I'm gonna shoot some shit. All right. Aim at some shit. Not let me fly. Eleven and then a six. Yeah, both of those hit. And are you shooting them both at the the same thing? Or are you splitting them up? Well, if it blows up, I'll shoot the next one. 16 and then 29. Yeah, um, the the first one um, blows up, and the second one also blows up. Because, uh, <laughs> these things are, are not super strong. But the the first one, since it was only a 16, it blows up and you, and you do see the parachute. That guy made it out. You see a, a little Ronald Reagan in a flight suit going going towards the ground. Oh good, I was concerned. His parachute pants. No, nah, he's got a parachute that's on the on the top rather than the bottom. Okay, that one failed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And so for this round, uh, you guys are, are basically in the vicinity of the um, of the Miss Jackson now, and we'll have to start sort of flying maneuvers around it um, and, and stuff to stay in the area to defend it. So there are the the three um, planes that were pursuing you, and there's also two more that are still constantly um, making attacks, trying to get uh, attacks into that um, hole in the shields. You're also going to be taking shots from the, the volleys from the ground. Right now, since you were still doing that uh, that maneuver from last time, it will help you. But then the, um, the drugs that you had will also bolster in that. I don't know if you've been adding that this whole time, have you? Um, I did once. I don't know if I did again. Oh, okay. oh, wait, I never rolled again after that. So, yeah, I did once. We're good. Okay, cool. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll a piloting again, and we'll see how that works with uh, this volley towards you. Well, Chris, yes. uh, that's going to be a 14. Okay. Well, I'll put those dice down. And then <laughs> we'll roll some, uh, some cards again. All right. And uh, one of these jets is going to go first. Actually, two, but one is not attacking you. You see one of them launch a missile like that just goes straight through the the hole of the Miss Jackson's defenses and you see like a, a big explosion inside there. Like it's kinda getting wrecked and you see like the whole shielding like start to flicker 
but then it goes to, to stay on like steady after a few minutes, a few seconds of flickering. And then uh, the one that's pointed at you guys, go ahead and um, roll for maneuvers. All right. 11. All right. And so this time they're uh, coming at you with the guns. Two of its shots will hit. Not enough to harm you, but uh, you're you're getting um, lit up with a bunch of um, of bullet fire. Then it is your go. I should probably stop looking for the gift that says I am so not having a good time right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, I'm literally just continuing with the same strategy that I've had because everybody else is shooting, and I don't want to steal it away from them, even though it was funny to do it once. So keep it on the evasive? Yeah, that's just a four. Okay. All right. Um, Allison, are you going to try to take the remote back from uh, Starlet, or do you want Starlet to take your shot? You take the shot. Hey, Starlet. Chris rolls bad. Yeah. I noticed. Uh, can I see that for a second? But I'm so good at it. Like, watch. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I, I, I want to check something real quick. Okay, and she hands it off to you. Thanks. You'll hear over the radio, Charlie, go, Hey, whatever fucking moron is on the railgun, get the fuck off. This is stupid. Oh, <laughs> you heard her. Give it back to me. She said you're no good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did roll a one, so... Oh, okay. I mean, I rolled a three minus two, so... Oh, okay. So not a natural one. All right. No, no, no. Luckily enough, you're not pointed at the the Miss Jackson anymore since you're flying in circles around it. And so uh, this shot will then go... <laughs> it is going to hit the, the research building below where there's like a, a bunch of um, the, the Carl Sagan's that are like, you know, in single file trying to make runs at the uh, tube to try to, you know, get back in there to escape. And so, like, you, you hit the, the roof of this building, and, and you see about uh, um, ten Carl Sagan's um, go launching in all directions off of the side of this building, and there's a big crater on top of there. And uh, you hear on the, the, the communicator in the, in the cockpit, uh, Do try to keep friendly fire at a minimum, please. I hand it back to Starlet. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm so good at this, and like within seconds of you doing that, um, <laughs> another shot just rocks the roof of that building, and another 20 seconds go flying. I am going to uh, take the intercom and just say, I've got this, Carl, and I'm going to power down the railgun. <laughs> <laughs> James, it's a weird world where the, you're the only person that I allow with guns. Hey, you know, I go down to the range sometimes. I just shoot some small <laughs> things. <laughs> I thank you for that. Um, we've almost got everyone loaded. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Perfect. Well, I'll keep murdering Reagans. Did you know that I always wanted to shoot Ronald Reagan and now I get to do it? It's kind of great. Haven't we all? I'll tell you one thing I definitely didn't miss him <laughs> Alright and uh So James Yo what's our end goal here homie What are we doing Are you fucking kidding me right now James Here's the thing Alright we're trying to help The Carl Sagans get the Miss Jackson Out of the area and then big old foamy explodey with the continent down there. You remember? Yes. You remember that part? Yeah, it's a little hazy. Big old foamy explodey? A little hazy between foamy all the explody. rollies and the vomiting and shit. Oh, yeah, no, rollies and vomiting, yeah, for sure. I think that this is maybe clouding my memory and I gotta take another drag. Oh, yeah, the memory <laughs> clouds, for sure. <gasps> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I shoot again. <laughs> All right, this time at a minus two after taking a puff from that thing. Uh, 
six, seven, eight, seven, six. So six. Oh, I'm right. gonna do yeah, both of them hit. No, I, that was just one. Oh. Oof. Nice. The next one did not hit. Nineteen damage. Yeah, uh, one of the the F sixteens explodes. So now there's just uh, four left in the area. So uh, yeah, another shot at the Miss Jackson, which is just gonna impact on the shields. Then another attack at you guys. Um, roll a uh, maneuvering check for me, please, Charlie. Yeah, okay. Four. All right. So um, yeah, you just take a, a bunch of um, you know little gun fires and, and stuff, but it's not enough to damage anything. Uh, roll some more for next round. All right, so. Uh, Two jets, uh, roll a maneuver for me, Charlie. I am I still adding a plus two? Yes, because okay. your your drugs are gonna last the this whole thing. Yeah. Um, that'd be an eleven. All right. So minus two dies there. Ooh, we got a lot of sixes in this one. Got you with a raise. I don't have anything to do anything about it, so do it up. Yep. Uh, D twelve. Eight. You lucky bastard. Uh, six through eight. Pull. Uh, vehicle suffers a hit in the body, but with no special effects. Poing. Poing, peen. Yeah. Peen, 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 peen. <laughs> peen. All right. Then the one's going to... Peen, peen, peen. Attack the Miss Jackson. So, uh, yeah, another direct hit inside that um, hole in the shields, and the shields just go down. You see it flicker some more, and then they just, like, go completely clear around the ship, and so no more shields for the the Miss Jackson. But, um, yeah, and it, almost immediately after that happens, um, you hear on the intercom, um, uh, there go our shields. Uh, please do your thing. Uh, we we got to get out of here soon. We're going to have to leave everyone else uh, behind because we got to get out of here. Well, Carl Sagan, that's convenient because if there's one thing that Charlie Greenman is good at, it's murder. And she'll uh, <laughs> continue to fly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, you start to see like the um, the the tube thing at the bottom of the Miss Jackson um, start to um, retract back up into the ship. And you see um, some of the Carl Sagans on the bottom are, like, uh, trying to, like, you know, jump and grab onto the bottom of it and be pulled up with it. And some, like, you know, will grab the legs of that guy, which will grab the legs of that guy. And you see that happen a few times before, like, the weight of all of them just makes the first guy that grabbed on, like, you know, not be able to hold anymore. And so all of them fall. I'm going to dive down and try and save some of them. Okay. So you're going to land on the roof real quick? Uh, the goal is I would like to just open up the door on the side and just kind of like keep it flying and just, you know, let them come in like a helicopter almost. Okay. So, uh, yeah, um, you do that and, all right, um, while concurrently you are going to be taking fire, I will say that you do not get a maneuver roll for this, um, to dodge. And luckily enough, almost all of those were ones. There was four ones in that uh, that little spat there. So um, you will not be taking anything but superficial damage during that. And then, peen, uh, peen, peen, peen. do you have a D20 around? I do. Roll one of those and let's see. I don't know why. Get it because it's unnecessary, but uh, so yeah. Peen. All right, <laughs> you come down and. Um, just like uh, a Huey landing and Nam, um, you got uh, uh, I don't know either James or um, or Allison, like you know, kind of waving on the side, and you know, a bunch of these Carl Sagan's are climbing on board. Oh, thank you, thank you. As they're climbing on board, Charlie's gonna be on the intercom going. Listen to me, boys. When you go on board with Charlie Green, she's gonna be the last boots on, first boots on, okay? And when we take off. No man has left behind, except for the men that we have to leave behind. You know, because we gotta leave those ones behind, because we don't have enough room. Because the ship isn't very big. But hey, you guys are fucked. Remember that. 
presidential hang-up the intercom. We sure are. Even though you wouldn't be able to hear that because you're in the cockpit. And <laughs> like, that one just kind of said that and just looks around. And nobody's paying attention. And then everybody will hear a... And then you'll hear a squeal in your head. And Jake Slam on the bike like... <laughs> <laughs> you see one of the the, the um, Carl Sagan's jump off the ship when he used to play. <laughs> That's it. I, I'm out of here. <laughs> see, we don't need flares anymore. We have Carl Sagan's. <laughs> Alright, peace. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Can I jump out with Carl Sagan? No. no, I can't. Would I gotta like fly to? the ship. I gotta fly the yeah. ship. You're right. You're right. You're right. Good call. <laughs> but what if... Okay, so we're good to go then? Yeah, let's blow this motherfucker. <laughs> Not the first time James has said that. <laughs> Wait, which motherfucker are you gonna blow, James? Is there something you need to tell us? I'll take one. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm way too high for tonight. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, yeah, as you guys are trying to lift off of the roof of the building, you're still susceptible to attack from the other jet. Yep, that's not going to do anything either. So more uh, just bullets just impact the ground. They, they just completely um, demolish the one Carl Sagan that jumped out. <laughs> he looks like, uh, what's his name in, in Godfather, getting you know riddled with bullets at the um, <laughs> toll booth. <laughs> I told you, Carl Sagan's connect is a flare. All right. Um, okay, cool. Don't worry about it, Allison. I was, I was kidding, sort of. Um, anyway... And back to barrel rolls. <laughs> when you uh, when you say kidding, sort of, um, Mo Five looks at you and gives you a digital wink, and then kind of <laughs> positions himself by the side door. <laughs> Mo Five right. is my day one. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, yeah, and in this round, you guys are. Um, trying to escape the synthetic at atmosphere of uh, this sort of flying continent. Of the United space. space. And, yeah, of the United Space of America. The, the goal right now is to try to make it out of the, uh, out of the atmosphere because those jets aren't going to be able to follow you. But you're still taking uh, volleys from the ground. Um, you can, though, now uh, take maneuvers, so go ahead and roll one for... I would love to. Laser volleys. Suffrage. Ziegfeld volleys. <laughs> uh, five. Yep, that's basically nothing. Bunch of twos in that round. I need to know if my Paul McCartney reference got me a Benny back. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know me, yes. <laughs> damn right I do. God damn right. <laughs> Uh, it's only half a Benny, though, because you didn't say Sir Paul McCartney. God damn it. <gasps> <laughs> I'm going to spend half a Benny. All right, but you got to roll a D4. God damn it. <laughs> okay, and so, uh, yeah. And Before we end this campaign, can you please give Charlie a weapon that's like eight D4s or something? <laughs> I'm just gonna roll in the chat, you cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. I do guarantee you after uh tonight if you survive, which I mean come on, who are we fooling? Um you you'll have uh an advancement. And so Ooh. do with that what you will. In fact it'll be three advancements. What? Because you guys have been through some shit. All right, so uh, missile coming your way. Ooh, 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 ooh. 30, 
one. So yeah, there's a raise on that one. So roll a d12. Um, there's a kablooey in your general uh, vicinity. Four. Yeah. Um, the ship's FTL drive has been damaged and must be repaired before you can jump into hyperspace. Well, it's not exactly hyperspace, but to use effective, uh, you know, out of um, atmosphere warp, you will need to repair it to really be able to get away from here and, and get to where you're going. MO5, my love, so, we have more damage. This requires 1d4 rounds of repair. So I will roll a d4 here. Actually, I'm gonna make Tim Tim roll this C4. Fuck you, how you many fucking motherfucker! God fucking damn it, dude! God fucking damn it! Fuck you! No, fuck this! It's like under some shit. Hold on. I think I got it. I got it. Two. All right. So, uh, yeah, in two rounds, it should um, be able to be repaired if uh, his rolls are good. And. Um, or wait, no, that shouldn't happen like that. Yeah, he just repairs it in two rounds. So, uh, MO5, you hear his mechanical stomping start to go towards the back of the ship. All right. And All I right. continue to fly in the most erratic pattern I can possibly manage. All right, cool. And then... Now it's uh, your um, turns. So, um, Tim, you said you're doing the flying, so go ahead and give me a piloting roll. At your right. plus two. Uh, that would be a nine. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, did you turn back on the um the rail gun? Um, it could be on. That's fine. Okay. Figured it makes sense since you're not near the roof of the building anymore. Um, I can go help Mo Five again. I'll do that. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. I popcorned on both of them at the same time. What? Okay, that's a 10 minus 2. Not like so, almost as soon as uh, they get back there, um, Tim, you you, uh, notice like a boost of speed, and uh, this thing has um, like basically been repaired almost immediately. You get get back there and you notice um, just some glaring problem. Uh, where, like, one of the hoses had been knocked loose or something, and uh, you get MO5 um, on it right away, and he's able to reattach it. Because that was a damn good roll. And, uh, Brian. I'm gonna see, shoot some shit. James Lane. Alright. So, um, one thing you might want to know is since you were flying up into uh, space now, um, your pursuers are pursuing you, and so they are behind you. Four and then eight. So there's not much... Okay, you just shoot cannons <laughs> in front, <Yep. laughs> off into space. And um, while you're doing that, actually, roll me a notice check. And uh, I'll have uh, Tim do it, too, since he's in the cockpit as well. Fuck you, you fucking rotten ass son of a bitch, D4. I got 21 damage and then 26 damage. All right, yeah, those, uh, those um, cannonball things just go straight off into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> And damage something sometime in the future. Five notice. All right, and Tim. Uh, that was a four. Four. Okay. So, uh, yeah, both of you can see kind of clearly. If you remember either last episode or the the one before that. Oh, it would have been last episode. So um, after the um, warp field collapsed um, around this place, you could see like um, some of the stars looked like they were like coming in towards the continent ship thing you would have recognized those as like the reflections of light coming off of uh, spacecraft that were pursuing the um this thing and uh what you can see now is they are getting closer and closer at a very fast rate of speed and it, you actually notice that they are um turned backwards and have uh, thrusters firing um, at full blast, trying to not hit the um, the continent ship here. And they are uh, a couple of them zoom right past you guys and connect um, with the ground of the um, of the continent ship, blowing huge holes in the. Internet. 
just basically like the kinetic atom bombs and stuff. The old Boba Fett seismic charges for Obi Wan. <laughs> kind of like that, yeah. Like uh, it basically the same principle behind the theoretical weapon, the Rod from God, which is like just a you know massive tungsten that would just be yep. shot at a, a planet or something at uh, at very high speeds. And just the the speed alone, the kinetic energy gives it the the um for you know several atomic weapons. And um, let's see, they got all these right. Fighters is gonna take the last ditch effort of shooting a missile at you. Alright, um, that's a twenty six. So it just beats your toughness by one point. So uh, it's not too many bennies. God damn it. Oh wait! I have my spell. Can what? I use my half a Benny to soak? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Forgot that I just begged and pleaded for a Benny. <laughs> That'd be a five, sir. Fuck yeah. <laughs> sir Paul McCartney, bitch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you're able to soak that roll. This thing, um, this missile, exploded pretty much right behind you guys. And it was, um, luckily enough, because the ship is powered by um, warping space, like I mentioned before, stuff that um, hits from outside the bubble ends up like going around instead of uh, through you. So um, it just hit right at the right spot of being behind the warp drives. And so all this kinetic energy just went around the ship. And um, you guys are up out of the atmosphere now and are no longer being pursued by the planes. Um, You still have a lot of um, cannon fire. You notice that that on your um, control panel that shows you like where all the bogeys are and stuff, um, an alert comes up that you were um, targeted with a, a locking sort of thing for uh, a big laser weapon and uh, the Carl Sagan's all run up to the panel and um, and start like sort of pressing buttons to figure out what it is and one of them says oh god I think it's the big one and uh, everybody just kind of waits in silence there for a few seconds I feel like the big one needs more explanation Carl um, it's the big one uh, a weapon that could basically take us out of one shot oh the big one i can't explain it any better than that (laughs) oh the fuck i guess (laughs) as soon as that one sagan uh finishes the sentence the other sagans like there's you know 16 of them around you and they all actually do start explaining what it is but it's like they're all talking over each other and it becomes this cacophony of like nasally sagan voice and um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and you just tune it all out anyway as like you know you're just like really vibing on the drugs you took and everything <laughs> but um moments pass and um you don't get hit there's no shot and there's silence other than the, the drone of all the Sagan stuff <laughs> and eventually uh on the communicator you hear uh Sagan once again I want to thank you very much saved many lives today and to freed us from what we didn't originally know was a form of slavery yeah no worries man it's cool yeah just call us all Oscar Schindler and shit it's cool what do you plan on doing from here on out oh we have to kill Brantley Swindon it's cool well, I wish you good luck in your endeavors. If you ever are near the Miss Jackson, come and shoot us a line. Well, I mean, I'll probably just communicate with the ones that I have, you know, here in the Challenger, I guess. It's cool. I do hear what they think. <laughs> oh. Because of the hive mind thing. <laughs> I hope it's good stuff, because otherwise, you know, I'm going to use them for players, because like, I don't need any of that negativity and shit. You know what I mean, Carl? Well, one of them is still waiting to be blown by James. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make James do it. If he agreed, he has to. That's how it works, after all. It's banned rule on the Challenger. <laughs> uh. 
Listen, you blew the guy that I brought on that one time because of the joke. I mean, <laughs> obviously James has to adhere to it, too. Well, yeah, that's obviously mandatory. You don't get to make a joke about blowjobs and not do it. It's weird and, like, really unprofessional. You mean blowjobs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so do we know where we're going? Um, yeah, no. I mean, maybe. I guess that depends. And then uh, Charlie will immediately get onto the intercom and go, Thorny, did we ever figure out where Brantley was? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Hold on. Give me a second. It's, it's right on the tip of my tongue, I think. Uh, oh, let me check my phone. That, that'll help. Then he goes to look for his phone, and he can't find it. Thorn. God damn it. Okay. Um, let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. And uh, Charlie is going to press the autopilot button, and she's going to walk back to MO5 and open up the compartment. She's going to right. uh, pull out a bottle of booze and just start chugging in hopes that she's going to remember something. All right. Here, let's uh, pause for a second while um, Kim checks her car. So I'm back, but my audio is going to be trash right now because there's a f- car alarm going off. <laughs> oh, fuck. So just try and talk in time with it. I. <laughs> right. I will make sure I do it in. Nope. I'm off. Uh, yeah, because you naturally will want to go during the honks like a metronome. Oh, good. It's gone now. Never mind. We're okay, good. cool. Cool. They pulled the green wire. Why alarms great till they go off at eight? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, as you're continuing to, to fly off into the into the distance there, um, you see more of those ships trying to avoid colliding with the, uh, the United Space of America, and they just, like, keep on colliding with it. Um, some of them end up, like, you know, just being just off to the side enough and being able to maneuver just a little bit to, to miss it, but so many of them are just colliding and crashing right into it. And and because they were pursuing something that was using warp drive, and they weren't fast enough to keep up with it, and so when this thing all of a sudden like just stopped in motion, like all of them, you know, just started hitting it and had no way of avoiding because they were moving very fast. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, you the communicator um, with Carl Sagan, um, he finishes his uh, gratitudes towards you, and then you hear um, another voice come on, communicator. Well, that is a job well done. Uh, yeah, I suppose it was, wasn't it? Yes. You never cease to amaze me. Fair enough. So, uh, do you know where Brantley is? I would assume that, uh, he is where he was beforehand. You know, the place where you were heading. Before all this took place. I don't know if you are uh, aware. I do a lot of drugs. I have no fucking clue. I'm trying to remember and shit, but I can't. So, you know, if you know, that would be helpful. Perhaps you should check back in with our mutual... Uh... I fucking hate you so much, Dwight. So much. <laughs> I can understand. No, I'll call Darth Maul. It's fine. Thanks for yes, nothing. That... And she'll hang up. <laughs> Hi, LC Peeners. This next little bit is happening unbeknownst to the players. Sure, Brian will hear this when he edits the podcast for release, but he'll probably forget it before he would actually have a chance to use any of this info in character. Without further distraction from the action, down on the surface, amidst the droves of Reagan clones firing up at the clean chips, a large section of the street begins to pull apart and opens as a very large cannon emerges. 
Along its giant barrel reads the Ronald W. Ray gun. Inside its control tower, a team of Reagans busily manipulate the targeting computers. Acquiring target vectors. Ron 0113, do you have atmospheric adjustments? Affirmative. We should have lock any second now. That's it. We have lock. On your command, Mr. President. Fire and your fire. What? Why? We have it has come to my attention that they have something very special for. Is it what we've been looking for? Perhaps. Possibly something even more powerful. Let them go. We wait. We follow. Just a reminder, our Zero Session of Odyssey is available now. All right, everyone, let's put them together for Rhyme Crimes! For patrons at a dollar or more at patreon.com slash lcpdnd. It's just like a a call to come to the island and let your, your troubles go. For users with Discord Nitro accounts that choose to boost our server. First one we're going to hear from is out of Charleston, South Carolina, a band called Children's Wig. Or if you don't want to do a monthly subscription, you can also hear the episode by purchasing it for a dollar or more at ko-fi.com slash lcpdnd. That's ko-fi.com slash lcpdnd. All those links I mentioned can be found in the description of this episode. All I want to do, do is tug some pud. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. I heard that song the other day. Weird. Until the sun comes up, I'll be tugging on a handful of pud. (laughs) I'll be tugging on two fingers of pud. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. So, Tim, you got that uh, Christmas thing ready? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right so it was a dark and stormy december don't start unless you're really gonna do this because i am all in <laughs> <laughs> brian's like i don't even know what character i'm doing i'm just gonna come i'm just coming uh, <laughs> no you're right he's, he's just gonna come <laughs> <laughs> i would come <laughs> tenth time's a charm <laughs> i'm gonna Come anywhere that I want to, and if you don't like the way that I'm coming, well, you. T- <laughs> I'll come wherever I want. <laughs> I've been dropping loads all over this house, <laughs> <laughs> like a goddamn dump truck. <laughs> Until the sun comes up, I'll be tugging on two fingers of pud. <laughs> Now listen here, Gerald. I told you if you're going to come all over the place, you got to clean it up. We have to measure for volume to figure out how many times you came. (laughs) I can't do that if you're coming all over the place. Come in the beaker. I handed you a beaker for a reason. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, uh, after all the yelling, the contents of the beaker start to bubble and get bigger. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. We're going to need a bigger beaker. Oh, motherfucker, Ghostbusters <laughs> tooed me. <laughs> <laughs>